Hello everyone, it is me Sasha Kawaii Cat, and in today's video I will be discussing why I gave up on drawing realism. For this video, I decided to do fan art of characters from Critical Role, which is an online D&D show where a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. So I decided to do fan art of two of my favorite characters, Veth Bernardo and Molly Mock Tea Leaf. To start off this video, you can see me doing fan art of the two characters, Molly Mock and Veth, in my main drawing style, which is a 2D sort of cartoony art style. It's kind of a mix between cartoon and anime, I would say. I first started doing realism when I was in high school, when I really only did traditional art. Back then, my interests were more towards doing portraits and still life, and most of what I drew was celebrities and models. Eventually, when I started to be influenced more by cartoons and anime, I wanted my style to look more like cartoons, and I became more interested in doing digital art. At the time, I couldn't afford the tools I needed to do digital art, and I started out just drawing on my phone. Doing digital art, my early experiences was being influenced by cartoons like Steven Universe and being Puppycat, and also anime like Naruto and Hunter x Hunter. So I was very much focused on doing 2D art until I started following artists who had a more semi-realistic art style. Once I started to become influenced by the semi-realistic artists I was following online, I decided to attempt to do semi-realism as well. My first attempt at semi-realism was trying to draw Naruto characters in a more realistic style. Realism was very hard. I remember being okay at realism when I was just drawing celebrities because I was basically just copying, but here I was trying to draw a 2D character as realistic as I possibly could with no references and I was not very good at it. I remember being influenced by artists like Ross Tran and, and Sakimi Chan at the time and their art styles were more semi-realism. But I remember taking things here and there from their art styles because back then I liked the artwork they were putting out. Regardless, I wasn't really attempting realism anymore, just semi-realism. And I thought my artwork at the time looked okay. So at that time I was doing my regular 2D art style and trying to develop my semi-realism style while also sharing my art online. I remember thinking my painting style was very impressive back then, but looking back, it was just okay. Also, people didn't seem to like my semi-realistic art. They seemed to get less attention than my regular 2D stuff, and I started to lose confidence in that style. It took a bit longer for me to draw in my semi-realistic style, and the lack of interest that my followers had for it made me draw in that style less and less. I was trying to build a following, and I wanted to post stuff that I knew people would like. At the time, I also started doing commissions, and at the time, few people wanted art in my semi-realistic style. Eventually, I stopped offering it as an option on my commission page. At that point, I decided to simplify my style more and moved on from doing semi-realism to a sort of flat painting style that was more cartoony and close to my 2D style, just lineless. It was sort of a style I did when I was feeling lazy, but people really didn't like it much either and eventually I stopped doing it as well. Looking back, I realize now that I really just abandoned this art style that I was pretty into at first because my followers at the time didn't like it, which is kind of stupid. I guess part of why I wanted to discuss this is because I really want to do realism again, or at least semi-realism, which is why I decided to do these two drawings. The first drawing of Molly I did after watching the Critical Role finale. Campaign 2 is coming to an end and the episode was so emotional I just had to do fan art but I wanted to attempt something that was close to the official artwork of the characters, which is why I painted him in this style. Doing the painting was surprisingly very fun, mostly because I realized that despite not painting in a while, I wasn't completely horrible at it, which made me think I have the potential to be good at this one day, and it made me think that if I hadn't given up on painting, I could probably be able to do some pretty impressive artwork in this style today. It made me regret giving up on painting realism and semi-realism, and it made me want to try picking it back up again. The second painting I did was more practicing, but it turned out okay so I decided to post it as well. For the painting process, I decided to use some references this time, because I can't draw it if I don't know what it looks like, and I don't just mean the references of the character I'm drawing, I mean references of an actual human being so I could paint the face accurately. I'm still not very good despite using references, but like I said before, I had fun painting and it at least made me feel like I had the potential to improve. 
I will say, as far as realism is concerned, I'm definitely not there yet. As for semi-realism, I don't think I have a solid art style yet either. Like, I very much ended up copying the art style of the person who did the official artwork for Critical Role. But eventually, the more I draw, the more I believe I'll develop my own semi-realistic art style. I did both these painting on Ibis Paint X, and it actually had some pretty okay brushes for painting. I am going to continue to practice, but I think I'm going to try using Paint Tool Sai and maybe Photoshop. We'll see. I definitely need to watch some tutorials so I can figure out what I'm doing. I think I'll start a series where I draw semi-realism, just so I can draw in this style consistently and update you all on my progress. It might just be a following a tutorial type series, not sure. Comment below if you have any ideas for a future series about me learning realism. Okay, so now we're going to get into discussing the painting process. So for painting Molly Mock Tea Leaf, I decided to do like some 2D versions of the characters just to show a contrast between my 2D art style and the painting semi-realistic art style um, I was attempting. So I did this cute little chibi drawing of Molly Mock Tea Leaf and the Veth Bernardo, which you can see on the screen, just to contrast with the painting that I did. So this drawing that I did is based more on the finale episode where this character appears and I wanted him to sort of look like the reference obviously but I wanted him to look like um, how he would possibly look at the end of the series versus how he looked um, when the series began which is what the reference image is based upon. So. I had his hair a bit longer, which was kind of hard for me to paint, I'm not gonna lie, but I found some really nice brushes that really helped, and I tried my best to make it look, um, you know, decent. <laughs> I don't know if it looks um, all that great, but I did use a few techniques that I think helped to make it look not really realistic really, but you know, kind of make it pop and stand out more. While I was painting him, I had so much trouble um, painting his hands and I decided to just get rid of them and decided to, you know, paint his chest and paint some abs, which was a bad decision. I had some references pulled up of a, you know, of a guy so I could use him as a reference for the character, not just a reference um, of the official artwork, but I still had trouble drawing the abs, but I think they turned out okay. For the painting, I really wanted um, Molly Mock to look um, sort of innocent and sort of worried. I added a few um, like details in his face that I kind of got rid of by um, the end of the painting, which I kind of regret because it kind of changes it kind of changes his expression a bit. But I think um, I still think the painting works. This character also has like a bunch of tattoos, which I did my best to try to draw them accurately, but I'm not sure if I did an okay job, but I tried my best. Part of this drawing that I really don't like is the horns. <laughs> like I don't think I did a good job on his horns. Um, I feel like I followed the reference a little bit too closely there. I should have attempted something different. Usually that's not how I draw horns, but I was really looking at the reference and I think I messed those up. but. I feel like I'll be drawing this character a bit more in the future, so future updates um, of the character, I'll do my best to draw him a bit more in my own style. <laughs> Eventually, I'll, I think I'll develop my own style by then. I actually also looked up references just to get his um, his coat right because I wanted I wanted the material to look realistic and look okay. Um, I think I did an okay job, but once I started adding the details and stuff, his coat just has so much details on it. Um, I don't think it looked as good once I added the details, but I couldn't exactly leave them out because it is like a huge part of this character is his, you know, his colorful coat. Overall, I think he looks very beautiful though, and I did like how he turned out. I did try adding some jewelry, but eventually I got rid of those. I don't think, I'm not sure if he'll, he'd still have the jewelry on his horns um, in the last episode, but maybe. Either way, I got rid of them just because I didn't particularly like how they looked. Next, I did this painting of Beth Bernardo. Um, I mentioned early in the video, I was kind of just practicing uh, to see, I kind of wanted to see if I could still, you know, do a decent painting of say like a female character, um, which is why I did this painting and I think it turned out okay. Like I liked how it looked enough to include it in this video. I also watched um, 
one or two tutorials and I learned a few things at least about you know painting so I added some some gradients in the color so it helped a bit it's hard to sort of explain um, what I learned from some of the tutorials but I did learn a few things that helped with my painting process while I was painting, um, I had so much trouble painting her breast. Um, I'm not very good at painting breasts for some reason, but I'll continue to practice. I can't paint breasts accurately and I'm not very good at painting abs, but I'll improve on that in the future. I'll do some practice and then watch some more tutorials. Either way, I really loved how this one turned out. I had so much fun painting her. Um, Veth is one of my favorite characters, so I really loved doing this painting. And I love just the elements of her design. I love her hair. I love her distinctive eyebrows. I love her tattoos. Um, I also love that she has like a bunch of buttons around her neck because that's something in this show that's a character trait that she really loves collecting buttons. Um, I had a hard time drawing them but it's still something that I like um, about her character. I also had so much fun painting her hair. Um, I mentioned before that I found some brushes in Ibis Paint X that I think is pretty good for doing um, for doing painting. So for her hair, I found like several brushes. I think at some point in the future, I'll probably do a video on some of the brushes in Ibis Paint X since I use Ibis Paint so often. But I found some brushes that were pretty good for doing hair, and I tried my best to make her hair look pretty. Um, you know, semi-realistic, um, semi-realistic, sorry, and I thought it looked okay. I'm still not very good at painting eyes. That's something, um, when I first started doing realism or trying realism, I just had so much trouble painting eyes. Like, semi-realism for me just wasn't, it was really hard, and the eyes was something that I struggled with, and I still struggle with it right now, but eventually the more I practice, I think I'll improve. I think the eyes look okay in this painting, but they could definitely look better. Overall, I like how Miss Bernardo turned out. I think she looks very cute. Um, I had some trouble with her tattoos. She has tattoos around her eyes that's supposed to look kind of like eyeshadow, but I had some trouble with that. I tried my best. Again, that's something I need to improve upon. Um, I'll watch some tutorials on how to paint tattoos, but overall, I really loved how this one turned out probably more so than the first one of Molly Mott because um, I, this time I looked up a few more references and watched um, one or two tutorials and that definitely helped me out a lot. I still don't know how to draw flowers. I did attempt it but it is still very hard for me. I think they looked okay. Um, it looks deliberate. I say it kind of looks like... <laughs> I, was, I wasn't trying to make the flowers look that realistic, but really I was. <laughs> I just don't know how to paint flowers. Um, I wasn't really using a reference though, so it's obvious why they look the way they do, but I still think she looks okay and she looks very pretty. God, I had so much fun um, painting these two characters. Um, I don't know if I'm going to paint more of the characters from Critical Role in the future. I might move on to a different show, but I really had fun doing these two. And it really made me want to paint more and, you know, try to improve upon this art style. Well, we'll try to improve on drawing, um, painting semi-realism because I don't think I have like a solid art style yet, but eventually I think I'll get there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my art and you'd like to support my channel, please consider donating to my coffee account. The link for that is in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!